Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm just going to leave a little video to give you guys an update. Today, I went to see my ortho doctor and I got some news that I wasn't really prepared for. I knew that I had some arthritis in my right knee and I also knew that I had some arthritis in my hip. But I had been suffering with some pain for about five months now in my hip area on my right side. And in the last, oh, I'd say month or so, it's really increased. And so I wanted to make an appointment to see the ortho doctor. And I was looking things up, you know, on Google and self-diagnosing myself. And I was thinking maybe it was um, like something out of place or like hip tendonitis. So I went in prepared that there was something wrong but when we went over the x-rays and the doctor spoke with me, he made me aware of the fact that I need to have a hip replacement. I'll tell you, I didn't know what to think when I heard that. While he was in there with me, I was very attentive and um, alert and asking all the questions. How did this happen? Why did this happen? What needs to be the next step? Um, he says because of my age, he doesn't want to do a hip replacement um, because I'm only 47. It's something they want to generally wait until you're in your into your 60s. Um, but it's all about quality of life. So they're going to try me with some cortisone injections, and I'm scheduled to have them next week sometime. And he also said he'd like to see me lose about 30 or 40 pounds. Uh, before he would even think of doing any surgery. And I told him that was fine because I have been very blessed. I have never spent the night in the hospital since the day I was born. And I always swore that I would leave this world with everything that God gave me when I came. If I lost my tonsils or something, that would be okay. Um, but I'm proud to report I've never had to spend the night. So the thought of even having surgery scares me. Um... But I told him I was in no way even looking at surgery. So we're going to try with the cortisone shots. And um, how do I feel about it? Honestly, old. The minute I heard it, I thought of something my mother always told me. She always said youth was wasted on the young. And I never understood what that meant until I became older. And then I remember her always telling me, you're only as old as you feel. And when he told me about a knee replacement or a hip replacement, and I actually saw the x-ray with my own eyes, and here I have no medical experience whatsoever, but I could see with that x-ray what my hip looked like compared to my left hip and see that it was bone on bone, I remembered my mother always saying, you're only as old as you feel. And I felt so old. I was like, I told the secretary, I feel like just give me my AARP card, put me in a wheelchair or a walker, stick a fork in me, I'm done. I'm not going to lie. It's very disappointing. And it's disappointing because I know that my weight has probably contributed to it. Although they did tell me that it's hereditary and in your genes. And I do have an aunt that suffers from arthritis very bad. So tomorrow I have an appointment to see the rheumatoid doctor. And hopefully I'll get some information about what kind of arthritis I have. And if there's any medications they can give me that would help combat this pain that I'm in. The doctor did tell me today that the weather does play a factor. So when it gets colder, I do get stiffer. Um, I, I must admit, I wanted to wallow in self-pity. But then I just told myself, you know what? I'm letting go and letting God. I'm going to give it to God. He has a plan. I've lost weight before. I'll do it again. It's just, you know, it's one thing when you want to lose weight because, oh, I want to buy new clothes or... Um, I want to do something, like prove yourself that you can do something. It's another thing when you have to lose weight just simply so you can have surgery. 
Um, they did talk to me about possibly gastric bypass and I'm not belittling anyone that ever has ever had that, but I will never have that surgery. So, um, if it's just 40 pounds I need to lose, I can do that. So that's what I'm starting to do. I'm just going to journal for now, um, and journal what I eat. Um, I'm pretty limited on what I can do because of my pain. So after I stopped feeling sorry for myself, I picked myself up on my bootstraps and I figured I would give you guys an update. Tomorrow, like I said, I see the arthritis doctor. I'll give you another update then. But yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys. And if you could spare any prayers, I'd really appreciate them or any good vibes. I hope this video finds you well. And until I talk to you guys again, you take care. Bye.